truth is that it is just as dangerous to drive while talking on a cell phone as it is while driving drunk. First, they'll each run a control lap, sober and cell phone free, to get acquainted with the course. Then they'll navigate the course again, only this time while Jamie distracts them with a cell phone call. Finally, they'll knock back a few cold ones, take a police-administered breathalyzer test, and then climb back behind the wheel for their last lap. Ready? Go. Go. First challenge, accelerating to 30 miles per hour and stopping at the sign. Then back. there's everybody's favorite, parallel parking. Oh, man. The time trial comes next. Your job is to average 15 miles an hour through the whole course. And for the piece de resistance, the accident avoidance challenge. You'll drive up at, say, 30 miles an hour. I'll say left, right, or center. You've got to make that lane change and then, you know, get through that particular lane change. All right. How did I do? So that's a pass. So overall, you pass. So it's time to break out the cell phones and try a more distracted lap. Okay, for the cell phone test, I'll be up on the sidelines talking into a cell phone and delivering three different types of tasks to the driver in the car. Okay, go. Go. All right, if I say Jack stole Ann's ball, who's the thief? Uh, that would be, uh, Jack. Uh, Jack. Okay, repeat the sentence. The driver was stopped for driving 67 miles per hour in a 20 mile per hour zone. The driver was stopped for driving in a 15 mile per hour zone. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. <laughs> and we actually gave her a fail for the overall course. And Adam? Uh, he did end up failing. He failed half of the elements. Okay, start drinking now. Cheers. Cheers. And go. First obstacle, the brake test. Uh, that's a stop sign, Carrie. Slow down. Hold up. We pretty much killed a couple cones over in the accident avoidance. And go. Not looking good, Adam. Like Carrie, you failed nearly half the course. Two and a half failed. So, what's the final word? Clearly, the results show that talking on the cell phone or driving is potentially as dangerous as driving drunk. But we failed the cell phone test by a much bigger margin. It's absolutely confirmed.